Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the first puzzle in the Hamilton Sudoku series. This is a series of puzzles that came to me kind of out of the blue. I was not expecting these, um, and I got a bunch of submissions at once where uh, a group of setters, from what I understand, it's about 10 different people, all got together um, and based on news that's come to me recently, decided to create a set of Hamilton-themed puzzles, basically as a pack that I could do as a series of videos um, that I could record in a bunch and then release over a period of time on my channel. Thank you to everyone. They've all done them anonymously. I don't know who they're from. They've all been released under pseudonyms of people from the musical. Um, and I, I cannot thank you enough. Um, it's I'm coming up to a time where recording would be tricky. Um, and they've created a bunch of puzzles that I could record quickly. They're all supposedly 15 to 20 minute puzzles. Um, and uh, very, very thematic for everything that's going on for me. So thank you very much. Um, I'm also releasing the new logo for my channel at this point. So um, the original logo I did, I I wanted a logo, so I came up with something in about 10 minutes and it ended up just sticking and I've been using it for about 18 months now. Um, but I did always want to do something a bit better or a bit more me. Um, so I, I've come up with something, whether, I don't know, I, I'm... I'm pretty casual and I try and play with it. So yeah, um, if you're not a fan of the theme of this pack, then just consider these to be Sudoku puzzles. You don't have to jump on board with the theme. Um, the puzzles, according to the tested results and everything, um, which came through with the submission, one person submitted them. I know who submitted them, but um, literally about 10 different people have come through and they've all cross-threaded the puzzles and tested them for each other. And I, I, I am so grateful to everyone who's involved, even though I'm not sure who they are. So um, rather than keep changing the subject, I am going to get onto this puzzle. So how does this one work? So um, normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have thermos in the grid, and the way thermos work is along these thermo shapes, digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So this digit will be higher than this digit, this digit will be higher than this digit. They cannot stay the same, they cannot go down, even on these long ones. Um, they're the only rules. The different colors are just thematic. This is, King, I assume, King George's crown, um, and this is the ocean's below. Um, they're the rules that we've got. Um, yeah, so I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Uh, let's give this a shot. So this is a long thermo in the puzzle. So let's do my normal marking. This maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four, maximum three. So this is one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight, nine. This is also long, maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four. So two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, and seven, eight, nine. Now, this is a one, two, three, four. So this is five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that makes this eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, this can't be three or two, so this is a four. So I've now got that. This now is a maximum of six. So maximum five, maximum four, maximum three. So this is two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six. And that's because I've got the seven, eight, nine here already. And I'm not sure what that's doing. Uh, this is still maximum nine, maximum eight. So this is six, seven, or eight, and seven, eight, nine. Nine is in one of those two, but so these actually that's interesting. This now this has a minimum of six. So these are seven, eight, nine, because these have to be higher than six. So these are all higher than six. So they have to be seven, eight, nine. This has to be the six, five, four, three, and two. That's really cool. So this now still has a maximum of six. This has a maximum of five. Now, but this has to, can't be three or four. So this has to be the five and the six. This very nice. Uh, this is seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, three, and four. Got to put a one in here somewhere. Got to put a nine in here somewhere. Nine. 
is in one of those. This is 7, 8, and 9, and I'm not putting a 9 there. So this is 8 or 9. This is now a 7, 8, 9 triple because this has to be higher than this. So 7 is in here, which takes 7 out of there, which puts 7 in one of those two. These are 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, there's no 2 in those. There's no 4 in those. Eight nines. So this is a maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four. So this is one, two, or four. This is two, four. Oh, this is only two or five because it's got to be higher than one. Can't be three, can't be four. This is four, five, or six. Five, six, or seven. It can't be seven. So this is only five or six. So these are three, five, and six, and three has to be in here. Yeah, I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This has a maximum of five. No, this has a maximum of four. Because it sees 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5. So this is a maximum of 4, maximum 3, maximum 2. And it can't be 2. This is 1. This is 2, 3. This is 3, 4. And it can't be 3. This is 4. This has... This is... Yeah, I've been promised puzzles that had nice flow and nice discoveries so far. That's what I've got. So what's the maximum on this? Well, I've got to put nine in this row somewhere. So what are what is this quad? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, six, eight, nine. Well, I'm not putting two this far along a thermo. I'm not putting eight, nine this far down a thermo. This is not eight. This is not six. So six is over here. Six, seven, yeah, maybe. Seven is not in any of those. Is it this one? Nine is down here. So nine is not here. Nine is not here. So and nine is not here. Nine is in one of those two, which means nine is in one of those two. This is a maximum of eight. Six is down here as well. This is six or nine because one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. This is seven, eight, nine. And this is six, eight, nine. This is not getting me as far as I would like. There's probably some sort of weird chain that I'm not seeing. Two is not in here. Two is not here. So two is in one of those two. Seven is up here. Seven is in one of those two because seven is not here. The seven here sees across and the seven sees up. So seven is in one of those two. This is seven. This is two, three, four, five. Well, five is not here. So five is in here anyway. Uh, Eight is not in those. That doesn't seem to be it. There's no five here. This is three or six. There's no one here. That's the thing. There's no one here. This is two, three. There's no three here. The two, three is looking down, making this the six. There's no six here. This is the five. This is the three. The six takes six out of there. In fact, there's no, the five here makes this four, the four here makes this two, the two makes this one. There's no one here. So one in this box is not in those, it's not in those, it's in one of those two. Um, three, four, five is right here, because I can't, yeah, five, five is there. So these are six, seven, eight, nine. 
which gives me a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple, but six in that quadruple has to be here. So it's not here. And these are one, two, three, one, three, and four. This can't be one because it's on a thermo. So this is one, two, or three, and it can't be one or three because of this. This is a two. This is really cool. Where does nine go in this row? Because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine, and that therefore can't be a nine. It's seven, eight. This is a seven, eight pair. This is six, nine. But nine in this row, because the six here makes this nine, this six. This could be, oh, the four looks down making this three. There's no three in here. This is one and four. Six and nine. I've got to put a five in this column. Not sure yet. Nine is here. So nine is not in either of those two. These are six, seven, eight. There's no eight here. There's no six here. This is the six. So there's no six here. Six is on this thermo. So it's either two. If this was a two, this would have to, oh, here's something interesting. Oh, this isn't a six. So let's just do that. Where does six go in this row? The six is now here. So this is now seven, eight and eight, nine. And the eight makes this seven. So seven is now in one of these two. Eight, nine pair. Okay, so this two is looking up. This is now the two, so there's no two here. But this is an eight, nine pair. So in this column, I've got one, which, uh, one, two, three, six. So these are one, three, and six. This can't be one. This can't be six. So six is in one of those. Oh, this can't be six. This is three. This is six. And this is one because going back to that, this couldn't be one because it's partway along a thermo and it couldn't be six because of this. So this becomes the three because this couldn't be the six. This becomes the one and then this becomes the six. One now has to be in one of those two and it can't be partway along, uh, along a thermo. So this becomes the one. Three, this has to be lower than three, so it's two, which means this is three. This is not two or three, this is one or four. This has to be, well, this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, and nine. There is a four looking up, so this is five or nine. There is a five looking up, so this is four, nine. This becomes the five. Four, nine looks down, meaning this is not the nine, so this becomes the nine. So this has to be, no, whoa, one, two, this is a three, and this becomes an eight or a nine, and the eight here resolves it. This is the nine, this is the eight, this becomes a nine. This, I like the flow on this, it's very cool. I mean, I haven't broken it open just yet, but it flows really well. This is a triple, one, two, three, four, five, this is a seven, eight, nine triple giving me the expected seven, eight, nine, triple. This can't be a seven or an eight. This is the nine. So the nine comes out of those. This is a seven, eight pair. So this is one. Oh, this is not the nine. So what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, this is a one, five pair. And this five is giving me the order. One, five, the one looks down going four and one. Two looks up making this three, which it's done for a while. Three is in one of these two. Three is now here by column logic. This one looks up making this four, makes this one, makes this four, which looks across making this nine, which makes this four. This nine makes this eight, which takes eight out of those. This becomes a seven, nine pair. Uh, the eight looks down making this seven, which takes seven out of there. The eight looks down making this nine, which makes this eight. The eight looks up making this seven and this eight. The seven looks up making this nine and this seven. The three in the box made this two. I could have used the row as well. Um, this eight looks across making this seven and this eight. The eight looks across making this seven and this eight. In this box, I am missing a two. And now I'm down to a single box, which should be easy. Uh, this is the one, so this is the seven. 
And what I'm missing now are two, which has to go here. Uh, five is next, which has to go here. And I need an eight, which goes there. And that is Oceans Rise, Empires Fall. I created a puzzle called Oceans Rise, Empires Fall, which I think was a thermo puzzle as well, um, about four months ago, maybe five, um, when there was a cast change in the Australian cast and uh, Brent Hill left and was replaced by Rowan Witt. Um, and I, I love both of them. Um, and now that Hamilton has gone to Brisbane, um, yeah, Rowan's left and Brent's coming back. So uh, that's going to be interesting for people who see it in Brisbane. Um, yeah, this really nice as an introductory puzzle. Um, yeah, 12 minutes. So exactly what was promised, a nice, slightly harder than gas puzzle, but uh, something that I can solve through pretty quickly. Um, thank you, everyone. Um, it, it, I just cannot believe how much people have uh, come to come together to do this for me, to, to remind me of their love. So thank you, everyone. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoy this series. I hope you enjoy all of the puzzles that I present on the channel, um, the problems and everything. And uh, yeah, I'll have some news as to why this exists in a few days. Thanks, everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.